without a sin, be the first to cast a stone. That word was too powerful. It brought conviction in the hearts of men and men began to drop their stones and they began to leave. And Jesus was left alone with the woman. And he said to her, where are the accusers? I pray today that God will silence your accusers. And the only way to silence your accusers is for you to accept grace today. Is for you to accept mercy. But remember, Jesus said something. In verse 11. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. For they that must enjoy grace, for they that must enjoy grace, for they that must enjoy mercy, are those who have made up their mind that they will not sin anymore. Oh, you can make mistakes. But if you make a mistake, go back and know that grace is sufficient for you. I am not those who pre preach grace and say go and sin and grace is sufficient. No. No. Grace can run out when you die. But as far as you are alive, as far as you are alive, there is grace. No matter what you have done. I see a woman. In fact, you're a woman as I'm preaching now. I see a woman in the spirit. You have so written yourself off. You have said no one is going to accept me. I want to beg you. Please do not write yourself off. If no one has accepted you, Jesus is saying, I do not condemn you, woman. Is somebody listening to me here? Can somebody feel my heart beat? Can somebody feel the heart of Christ as I'm speaking? The pain is so much. The betrayal is so heavy. Oh, you're willing to commit suicide. You felt you had failed men. Yes, you had failed men, but you've not failed God. There is still a lifeline. Don't die. If you die, you have wasted your tomorrow. There is a great tomorrow waiting for you. Grace. He's saying, no, please don't die. Grace is saying to the law. He's saying to your condemners. Those who have condemned you. Grace is saying, no. And grace is saying to you, I will not let you go. Mercy is crying out. Mercy is saying, Jesus had paid the price. Why do you want to die? Why do you want to die this night? Why are you thinking of killing yourself this night? Grace is crying out, saying, no, don't kill yourself. Grace is saying, I do not condemn you. Grace is saying, I'm going to give you another chance. But Grace is also saying, Go and sin no more. I feel the power of God so strong as I'm preaching this message. I was driving yesterday and the Lord spoke to me. Said, do you know my grace is sufficient? Do you know my grace can say no to every activity of Satan? Do you know my grace is the strength you need? I want to speak strength into you today. Oh, I remember the case of a man called David. I would love to look at his case. 
David too was guilty. In 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel 12, 2 Samuel 12, David was guilty. David had slept with the wife of his, his boy, one of his soldiers, and the man was also killed. David ordered for his execution, indirect execution. He did that secretly. And God sent the prophet, the prophet Nathan. And the prophet Nathan came and exposed the sin of David. Under the law, David was meant to die. Under the law, though he was a king, he was meant to die. But mercy said no. David repented. David cried out. Mercy cried out at him. Mercy said no. Grace said no. You shall not die. And God sent the prophet. Go tell David he shall not die. There is a David watching this program today. The weakness of your flesh has made you compromise. You have become a disgrace to your friends and to the church. You have sinned. You, you, you have touched. You have set your eyes upon a maiden. And not only that, you have gone to commit adultery or fornication with her. And you are so filled of guilt. You feel like killing yourself. You feel like you can no longer carry on. I feel I'm speaking prophetically this, this night. Somebody else. Don't give up. For grace is saying, no, don't die. I am not going to let you go. Grace is saying, mercy is crying out before the Father. All you need to do is confess your sins. But there is something else I found out. That even after we've confessed our sins, even after we have repented, the accuser of the brethren, who accused them day and night before God, we go on playing with your mind, making you believe in your mind that God has not forgiven you. Making you believe that God has not forgiven you. But let me tell you, God is faithful and just. When he says, I have forgiven you, he really means I have forgiven you. He has forgiven you. So don't be afraid. Oh, men may not forgive you. If they don't forgive you, it's irrelevant to God. Men may not forgive you. Of course, they will not forgive you. That is why they are men. But what is the opinion of men compared to your eternity? What matters is that grace has said no to your condemnation. Your liberty has been signed. Your release paper has been signed. And you hold on to it. For what matters is eternity and not what men will say. Oh, even in your church, they may accuse you. In your family, they may accuse you. But I have a good news to you today. Please, don't write yourself off. Don't give up. Because mercy is saying no. But another thing I want to tell you about mercy. But that when mercy is given from God, when grace is released, it also brings with it a release of all that you have lost. All the disgrace that has been released against you will be turned around. I remember when the people of Israel were in Egypt. For 400 years they were in slavery. But the day mercy located Israel, the day grace spoke for Israel, by the covenant meal. Now what is the mystery of this grace? Why was it necessary for a lamb without blemish to be killed? Why was it necessary for the blood to be put on the on the on the on the doorpost, up, down, side, side, up, side, side? If you put them together, they make the cross. God was releasing Christ into Israel at that time. 
Christ came into Israel by reason of the covenant of the sacrifice. It was only in Christ that the grace of God for release could be made possible. And that was why the Passover was instituted. The Passover is a kind of Christ. The Passover meal is like the last supper meal which that Christ had. The Passover was an exhibition and the release of the grace and the mercy of God. That was why Pharaoh had to let them go. And when Pharaoh let them go, they did not go empty-handed. Pharaoh and Egypt had to pay Israel all the years of labor unknowingly. I want to prophesy to somebody watching this program today. That all as God has forgiven you today, all the years the locust and the tanker worm has eaten in your life, God is going to restore in the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching this program today. All you're thinking is, well, who is ever going to forgive me? You're not a Christian. But I want to bring it to you and to other people. That there is forgiveness, and forgiveness is only in Jesus Christ. Today, if you accept Jesus into your life, God is going to forgive you. Oh, I feel the grace, I feel the forgiveness of God going through the rooms, going through the houses now, going through the sleeping rooms, going through the, the living rooms. Father, I thank you. I bless you. If you want the forgiveness of Christ today, just stretch forth your hands today and accept him into your life and God is going to forgive you of your sins and give you eternal life. Yes, if you just stretch forth your hands to the screen, I'm going to pray for you. Yes, repeat after me. Say, Father, I accept your forgiveness in the name of Jesus. I know I'm a sinner, but have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I accept Jesus as my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for you that God will strengthen your heart. I pray that God will look after you this night as you go to bed. Now listen, do not forget, God has released his grace and his mercy and you are sufficient. It is sufficient for you. Don't be condemned. Accept the message of God and have a good night's sleep. May God bless you. May the face of God shine upon you as you go to bed. Have a good night's sleep. May God bless you, especially those of you that are supporting this program. You will never lack in your lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So many are oppressed at night. Now, the word of God will arise like fire and hammer to stand in your defense to give you a good night's sleep. Things that you're carrying, the guilt of the sins you're carrying, just give them over to me. For this understanding, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. While you're studying the word, that your deliverance could just come. God could just give you solutions to the problem. God has given Pastor Mike the mandate to speak his word into the lives of people to prepare them for bed. Just before you go to bed, Jesus is Lord and heaven is our destination. Watch this here. Watch before you go to bed. God bless you for watching. We hope this program has blessed you. If you've been touched and have a testimony, please let us hear from you. Have a good night's sleep. And God bless you. And God bless you.